Heart failure is a condition in which the heart becomes less effective in pumping blood around the body. And in order to better understand heart failure and the causes of heart failure, it may help to understand how the heart works in a normal state. Your heart is principally made of muscle and its main role is to pump blood around your body, delivering oxygen and other nutrients to all the vital organs such as your lungs, liver, kidneys, brain and limbs. At the same time, the blood in circulation carries away waste, such as carbon dioxide, from these organs. For a healthy person weighing 70 kilograms, the heart can pump an average of 5 litres of blood per minute at rest. There are two sides to the heart, the right side and the left side. Oxygen-rich blood enters the left side of the heart from the lungs. From here, it is pumped through the aorta, the largest artery, to all parts of your body. There are four valves inside the heart, ensuring blood flows in the correct direction. The organs of the body use oxygen taken from this blood in order to keep alive and work normally. At the same time, carbon dioxide is released, preventing toxic build-up. This blood re-enters the right side of the heart for it to be pumped back into the lungs. As you inhale, the blood picks up oxygen. As you exhale, carbon dioxide is released. The cardiorespiratory cycle continues. There are many reasons why heart failure may happen. The most common causes are a heart attack, high blood pressure, problems with the heart valves, and cardiomyopathy, a disease of the heart muscle. Heart failure can also be caused by a viral or bacterial infection affecting the heart. Congenital heart problems, these are heart problems you're born with. An abnormal heart rhythm, arrhythmia, some types of chemotherapy, or alcohol or recreational drugs. In some cases, the cause of heart failure is unknown. Heart failure happens because your heart is not pumping as well as it should. This can cause several things. Being short of breath, when you're either resting or being active. Fatigue, feeling unusually tired. And swelling of your ankles, feet, legs or abdomen. Build-up of extra fluid in your body can also cause sudden weight gain. Unfortunately, there isn't a cure for heart failure. However, with good management of lifestyle and taking medication, people can live an active and fruitful life. If possible, your cardiologist will try and treat the underlying cause of your heart failure. For example, if you have had a heart attack caused by a blocked or narrowed coronary artery, you may need a coronary stent to unblock the coronary artery or a bypass operation to restore the heart circulation. If the cause of heart failure is a damaged heart valve, you may need valve repair or valve replacement surgery. If the cause of your heart failure is an abnormal heart rhythm, then your cardiologist may try to restore your heart rhythm back to normal. If your heart failure is thought to be due to alcohol or recreational drug use or chemotherapy medication, then your cardiologist may advise you to refrain from alcohol, recreational drug use or chemotherapy treatment. Sometimes the best way to treat heart failure is to better control high blood pressure and diabetes or to lose weight. There are tablet and pacemaker therapies available for some heart failure patients. The main goal of these standard heart failure treatments are to improve symptoms, to prevent you from getting worse and to increase your life expectancy. Your cardiologist and your heart failure nurse specialist will advise on which of these treatments to take. For heart failure patients whose quality of life remains poor as a result of their heart failure, or who are thought to have a short life expectancy, the referral for transplant assessment may be considered suitable.